Hello friends, welcome once again to our Ionic 5 tutorial. Uh, in this video we are going to briefly look at how we can change our splash screen to a customized one uh, using Loti splash screen plugin. One thing we have to know that uh, our project is a capacitor project and uh, as of now this plugin is not supported with capacitor but if you are watching uh, this video in future it means uh, this plugin might be enabled uh, with capacitor so uh, for this video we are going to be using Cordova okay so before we start we we'll need to go to Ionic website and see how we can uh, install this uh, plugin okay so let's head to Ionic and here we have this uh, Lotus price screen uh, plugin so as of now we are going to be using Cordova to install this plugin okay so before we start we need to run this command to install our uh, plugin into our project so we just copy this and then head back to our project I just create a new terminal here and just let's run this um, so we get an error uh, refusing to run okay so uh, since our project is a capacitor uh, project so we need to enable Cordova into our project to do so we'll just run ionic uh, integration enable Cordova okay then and run um, so the thing uh, already enabled let's just remove the uh, ionic and just run this Good, so our plugin has been uh, successfully installed. Let's check our package JSON uh, independences. Uh, we have our plugin right here. All right, so let's go ahead and also install the native uh, package. So copy that and then uh, run. Okay, now uh, our package has finished to run, to install. So uh, we'll run this project to see that we don't have any errors with the plugin. So we we'll just run Ionic. Uh, Cordova run Android we have an error here okay so what we need to do is um, we are going to uninstall this uh, Android platform and then um, Okay, let's add Android platform to our Cordova framework. get an error here and this error says um, okay let's see what the error says say so, uh, what went wrong execution failed for task uh, merge all right so we need to enable android uh, android x dependencies since we are using Android 9, so this plugin uh, supports. Let's go to the documentation and see what. Um, okay. All right, 
if to, we go to the documentation of the plugin uh, we are told that with iOS this is the version which is supported and above and also with Android we need to install Android 9 and above is uh, either greater or equal to this uh, version of Android so for us to enable that we need to get back to our project and uh, we just go in our configuration file uh, where we have our config here and uh, just below this plus screen paste this configuration here if you see here now we are enabling this uh, android x uh, we are setting it to true and uh, because this is what the error is saying where? yeah they are saying that um, android.use android x property is not enabled so we need to set this to true and also we are setting our uh, kotlin uh, plugin to also to true to be enabled and uh, also kotlin style uh, to that and uh, the version to this one so our gradle uh, plugin for kotlin uh, this will be the version okay so having set that let's run again our application and see what we have now we have another error here let's see um, okay mini uh, sdk version 3 cannot be smaller than 22 declared in this so let's change our main sdk um, from all right so we are going just to paste in that here and uh, we set our min sdk to set 22 okay so let's run again so we have um, Okay, we have now another error here that's uh, saying uh, support Android Android does support dot annotation required so since we en enabled this version of Android true so uh, we we'll need to change our annotation so that we can support this uh, API okay so to do so we'll just head to this uh, to this to this file and then i think we are going to comment out this and then let's import it again import from android x uh, dot annotation uh, then annotation then we we'll put require API all right so let's run again our application here so we'll run our Cordova run Android and then we'll run a pro in production mode so we don't have a uh, errors and errors so it means we have successfully uh, integrated our plugin with our project so uh, we are going to go ahead and then implement our splash screen so for us to add uh, our splash screen we will go back to our documentation and see what we need to do um, so we need to import this 
so we'll just copy this line of code and then uh, paste it in our apps.module.ts file so we'll come inside here and then just paste it there so and we'll go ahead and delete this uh, default splash screen so we'll delete that save and also we'll remove this import save and uh, uh, let's go to our app component.ts file we'll also uh, paste our our import there so we'll go to constructor here so instead of this splash screen we just say uh, lot splash uh, screen okay and then we'll remove this so here we'll then import our uh, lot plugin so instead of using this as our splash screen we'll remove that and then say import uh, splash screen dot hide when the platform is ready so we hide and then here we'll just say splash screen uh, show like so save and then let's go back to our configuration file so inside here we need to do some configuration here for our splash screen to work so we'll go inside here and disable this um where we have splash yeah so inside instead of uh having this default we'll say none save and uh, now we need to i'm going to just paste in some code here all right so now uh, we'll just come down here and then i'm going to paste this code here we are locating our uh, animation file which is a json file and uh, if you want to you know download this uh, animation file you can go to lottery website and then download them but now here and also here we are enabling the full screen uh, animation to true and uh, we are setting the background to that you can change it to anyone anything you want uh, or we can even um, okay let's just leave it for now uh, then load animation we are setting that true so after that then we'll go to downloads inside downloads i have this uh, file here i will copy that just right click and copy and then let's go to our document our project and uh, inside our assets folder uh, here we'll create another folder inside here and we'll call it um, load file save and let's just uh, reveal in finder come here then uh, let's paste our item there I'm going to remove all this so say that remain with animation your JSON file copy that one and then let's come here we'll locate it from www folder then from there we'll go to assets folder in assets we'll have our uh, Lot uh, file, then we'll have our animation right there. Save and uh, so after doing this uh, configuration, uh, we can also 
delay our a little bit our, our splash so we can just uh, set time to give it a uh, some uh, interval and uh, just give like maybe let's set two So these are two seconds that we are uh, giving our splash screen and then just paste that right there. Save and uh, let's run again application. So this is what we are having right there. Good, so we have successfully, maybe let's just, um, let's just remove this color for now. Let's just put, let's just put white. Yeah, for now, and uh, let's change our interval so that we can experience the effect. Good, so you see this effect that we are having, this beautiful animation. All right, now uh, in this video, we have looked at how we can implement a custom splash screen into Ionic. I believe some of you were asking questions on how they can integrate a Lotus splash screen into their application. So in this video, we have seen how we can do that. So yes, yeah, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.